I just dropped our daughter off at her dance class and I ho overheard one of the other parents walk in and say, oh my gosh, I remember this picture. And it was, you know, very harmless and just casual conversation. And it made me think of when you are in the first year of recovering after infidelity, um, there is going to be profound triggers. I mean, triggers that are just every smell, every sound, every movement, every breath, every movie, every show, every, you name it. But what a lot of people don't understand is that there's triggers that haven't yet revealed themselves. And the reason I say this is because you're going to go on, you know, two months after D-Day, three months after D-Day, four months after D-Day, five months after, six, seven. And finally, you're going to be like, you know what? I think I can get a hold of my triggers. I think I can do this. I think I'm good. And then all of a sudden, you're somewhere and you smell something, you see something, you experience something, you see someone that reminds you of something, and then you get a trigger. So two things. I just want to uh, um, press upon you. Um, that you might think you're out of the danger zone with triggers. Like, okay, I have all the triggers I'm going to have. Um, but there's triggers yet to still be known that you don't realize yet. And the second thing is it's very, very, very crucial that you get a hold of all the triggers you possibly can now um, so that when you do encounter these unknown triggers in the future, you already have the capacity to deal with them. Dealing with triggers is like anything else. It's like going to the gym. You got to work out to get ready for that triathlon. You got to get ready for that, you know, to build those muscles for that competition. It's the same thing. You got to do all the things that you have to do from holding on to ice cubes, to talking to your triggers, to leaning into them, to engaging your frontal cortex because your amygdala, you know, is, uh, is completely controlling your, your thought process. You have to do all those things and you have to know them by the back of your hand. So when those unexpected future triggers come up, you've, you've been lifting weights. You got, you got the muscle now to deal with it. So the more you know.